contenders are out of I got out of the car because my, I had no drive, so I got out of the car and went to Kevin and said, dude, I got hit from behind. And he was so angry about it because he thought, you know, I took him out. Harvick's really mad at Montoya right now. Harvick is not a guy you want to mess with. He was just a little frustrated, but it's okay. Everybody thinks they can win the races, and when something like that happens, it gets frustrating. And with time, you learn. You learn how far you can go with people. Well, Juan Pablo Montoya enters today's race eighth in points after dominating Indy and finishing second at Pocono. Our Vince Welch sat down with the former Formula One and Indy 500 star as he tries to add a NASCAR championship to his resume. Juan Pablo Montoya comes around. The checkered flag, the victory. To the winner of the Indianapolis 500. Oh, this kid is good. You're the champion. What made you want to come to NASCAR? I don't know, I wasn't having a lot of fun in Europe, to be honest, in Formula 1, I wasn't really enjoying myself, and well, the cars were great to drive and everything, but the racing wasn't that exciting. When the idea first came out of Chip's mouth, I thought, oh my God, it'd be cool. You know, I drove Jeff's car in India, and I could drive it. Because in Indianapolis, you drove Jeff Gordon's stock yeah. car, and he drove your Formula 1 car around yeah. the track a few times. And it's like, well, it's not so bad. You're going from a Formula 1 car to a stock car, and you felt comfortable in it? Yes, I did. Surprisingly, I did. You know, when you drive in the cars, you go boom, you turn the wheel, off the wheel, you turn the wheel, off the wheel, oh, go loose. Yeah? With these cars, the way they drive, there's never a certain limit, you know what I mean? You turn in, oh, you go loose. Oh, you know what I mean? This. Is that fun? I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, open up the NASCAR history books. Juan Pablo Montoya has won it here at Mexico City. We got this one out of the way now, and I want to win in an oval. You know, that's where we need to be good. Why is winning on an oval so important for you? I'm going to run good on a road course, you know what I mean? But, you know, when you run 36 races a year on two road courses, you better run good in ovals. <laughs> Do you think there are people out there that doubt your ability on an oval? I wouldn't think so. After Indy, I would think less people would think that. <laughs> yeah. That's a four-second gap you're looking at. There's nobody close, man. Focus on the track. He has been just unbelievably dominant. 42 car was too fast on pit road. Too fast entering. Pass through. I don't think I was speeding. Honestly, in my mind, I did exactly what I had to do on what I did every other pit stop. I swear on my children and my wife, I was not speeding. We had this in the bag, and they screw us. A lot of frustration inside the cockpit of that 42. You know, I didn't do anything. We had a six second lead. There was no point to do anything stupid. So um, it happened, whether it was a mistake or the right thing or whatever it was. You can't change it and you gotta move on. And we did and we just showed people how much potential we got as a team. Green flag at Pocono. And oh my, what is Juan Pablo Montoya thinking about after the disappointment of a week ago at Indianapolis? How about Montoya? What a great race. The can never give up. Is it difficult to not look ahead to how close you are to making the chase? Well, if you start doing that, then you lose focus on what you got to do today. And that's what we're doing. You know, we're focusing on, on a daily basis and, and see what happens. As a team, as a driver, crew chief, I think, you know, we, our relationship is just starting. I think we've got a really good relationship. Brian is really good. Pit stops are good now. Everything is getting falling into place for great success in the next few years. Can you win the championship? I have no idea. If you look at our performance in India, everybody said, oh, they can win the championship. But, you I mean, if all 10 races were run in India, then it would be a different story. If you look at my numbers and places, they're horrible. But, you know, to win a championship, you got to go there, and you got to race there, and you got to do well there. Unquestionably, they respected you for what you had accomplished in open wheel when you came over here. Do you feel as though you've got that respect amongst your competitors for what you've accomplished in NASCAR? Yeah, but I, yeah, right now I do, but it's not because of what I accomplished before. I think people knew who I was, what I did, but at the same time, I think I had to earn their respect here. It's not about, oh, this guy's great, you gotta give him room. Screw him, you know? I would say that to myself. <laughs> so you gotta prove yourself always.